Next up, we've got Gabi Moreno Cesar from IBM. Hopefully, didn't butcher that too much. Awesome. With a talk on open source Kubernetes and CNCF from the eyes of a designer. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. Thank you. Um. So I would also like to share my talk about my um, cloud native journey. Uh, so hello, my name is Gabby. Uh, my fun fact is I got this close to a giraffe. Uh, <laughs> I'm a design principal on IBM Cloud, an artist turned developer turned designer, and I've always wanted to contribute to open source, and I'm sharing my story uh, for those that uh, have wanted to do the same. So uh, I just wanted to share uh, my first steps into Kubernetes and into open source, and just a couple of years later to uh, being a SIG co-lead in the hopes that you, uh, if you don't necessarily contribute, um, maybe you code all day or maybe you're looking to contribute in other ways uh, and what uh, those non-code contributions might look like. But first of all, um, you know, for me, I am a full-time designer, and so you, you know, you're probably thinking, well, if I work full-time too, how do I find the time to contribute? And so for me, uh, and I'm sure it's different for others, but for me that meant keeping calm and focusing on 20% with manager approval. Uh, and with that, um, you know, I just wanted to share a few of my, uh, the contribution opportunities that I have encountered. But before anything, welcome. You know, you're at KubeCon, so you're here to listen, to get to know people, to read, and to get inspired, and just to see what's going on in the Kubernetes and the cloud native community. And hopefully, uh, you come away all inspired. And I know I did after my first KubeCon in 2018. And I was left wondering, like, you know, what do I do? How do I stay involved? Uh, how do I contribute? And, you know, that can be the hardest thing. Uh, so my recommendation to those that are kind of thinking about how to take their first steps is to you know, read everything, see where you fit in, see what it uh, gets you excited, and maybe share your thoughts or comment. And so what that looked like for me was uh, there was a new SIG that was spinning up. It was a UX uh, usability SIG. And so I was like, hey, you know, that's, that's what I do. Uh, I, can, I can contribute to something like that. And so I read the charter. And it was scary, but I contributed comments to, to the charter itself. And so a few months later, when this uh, SIG usability spun up, um, I got a chance to you know, run some surveys for them. So uh, super awesome SIG, uh, another SIG called Contributor Experience. We asked around, and they, were, uh, they, ha they have a ton of resources available. They offered to, lend us their, uh, to let us use their Survey, Mon survey Monkey account. And so um, we were able to send out a survey to the Kubernetes uh, through, through the CNCF Twitter and got a ton of responses back that way. I was also able to help uh, run user interviews. And so the people that responded were very excited to talk to us. And so by that time, there were more designers and researchers interested in contributing to, these op to the open source project. And so you know, they were all willing to kind of like jump in and help. You know, I started getting busy, uh, and so I moved to creating contribution opportunities. So that, that's another thing that you can do if um, you know, once you kind of like start getting the hang of things. So a lot of designers, researchers, product managers were joining the SIG, and they were like, how can I contribute? And so um, I started focusing on, you know, kind of creating documentation around, well, what are the contribution opportunities? And so people started doing that. Um, you know, mentorship, I, I got a chance to mentor uh, some, our intern through the Linux Foundation. Uh, that was really cool. Um, she learned UX research skills, had never done UX research before, and, uh, you, you know, you get a chance to kind of, like, help people along their open source journeys. Uh, you know, uh, similar, you write, you document your experiences, uh, you speak to share project updates and contribution opportunities. Uh, but, you know, all of that to say that um, if you take away anything, it's is that the Kubernetes community and Cloud Native is just super friendly and everybody is here to help you succeed, to help you contribute, and, uh, you know, start small. Uh, don't, don't bite off too much, but all in all, enjoy working in the open, have fun, make friends, uh, build your eminence and others as well. And just some quick acknowledgments. I, I did mention that if you do want to 
keep to 20% time, you need an approving manager. So my Adam Lankford, my always approving manager. <laughs> Tasha Drew, who kind of like showed me the ropes. People talk about mentorship and open source, and that's really important. Patra, who was our uh, intern, and all the intrepid designers, researchers, and product managers who were figuring out how to, what it means to work in the open. Thanks. Mm -hmm.